now called Storm, my name is Nick. Uh, essentially what I'll be doing on this channel is making random projects such as pens, power cord bracelets, dog leads, dog collars uh, and so on. There'll be other more stuff, there'll be a mixture of leather in there as well. Uh, if that is something you are interested in, please subscribe and you'll see more future videos from me in the future. Uh, but for now, today, I'm going to show you how to make a steampunk bolt action pen with a shotgun shell center. This is the kit we're going to use. It is a steampunk bolt action pen kit with antique brass and antique copper. I've not actually used one of these ones, but I have done bolt action pens in the past, which is available on my website, which I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, yeah, little okay, kit there. Of course, you also have multiple different things you could do for wood turning. Uh, I don't do wood turning. Um, mine's a bit more alternative. Let's get this open. Take a look what we've got. Okay, so first of all, we've got the brass tube which is pre-scratched for us, which is perfect for, I mean, seeing it in the woods. We've got the spring, and the Parker Pen style uh, ink insert, which actually has a nice cap on the front of that. Normally come a little wax tip. And we have the Steampunk, let's take a look. So, that's come. There's the bolt, here's the tip, you can see on the tip, it makes it look like you've got a couple of uh, copper tubes there, the tip unscrews like so, that will be how you would change your ink insert, nice, nice and thick as well, that's the bolt, it's quite heavy, this and get compared to the actual normal bolt action ones I've used in the past. Again, copper tubing, have a little bit there, and it is quite thick, which I suppose is good. Move that to the side. Also comes with what appears to be instructions. Let's take a look at these. Shows you how to turn the blank. You're going to stick it on a on a uh, mandrill and also what bushings to use. I will not be turning this. It also tells you what else you have in the kit. Uh, da, 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 da. Lovely. I won't be needing that. In the bin. Okay, so first things first, I need to prep my tubes. I'm going to move these out of the way. Don't lose the spring. I always have a habit of losing the spring. So my pens, I don't use wood, I use shotgun shells. This is a 410, which means it's quite thin compared to a 12 gauge, which is this one, quite thick. This is a live shell, which is up there. That's a 410. So the first thing I want to do is prep this. It has already been used, as you can see, that the primer has been punched. So it's a used shell. I just need to cut off the end and also cut the tip of it as well because that is a bit soft I can't do anything with that so let's do that I've got a hacksaw so let's start at the brass end so it goes through quite quick straight through the plastic I tend to save these because I like to reuse the primers as a little little project on the side now make sure I don't overcut this or undercut this just below there, it will be fine. So, the tube at the moment is too loose. You can see it falls out. Even gluing that in place will not work as well. So what I'm going to do, I have some heat shrink tubing, which I will place on top of the tube. And I 
that also cuts the rest off because that's not needed. Now I'll get my lighter and shrink the tube. Okay, allow that to cool. So what I need to do now is cut off the plastic which is overhanging. As you can see there. So you get that cut off. Whilst it's still warm, it does move the plastic around. But you're not really going to see it anyway because it's going to be covered with the 410 shell. Perfect. I'm going to also use this blade to scratch up the plastic. Gives the uh, glue something to hold on to compared to a smooth surface. You can also do this with a file. I just have the blade at hand. And that is a lot tighter fit as well. So I'm going to knock that back out. And give this a nice little coat. Super glue. So I don't go all the way up the top because what I tend to do is just do the bottom half and then when I put it in the tube, I twist it around to smear the glue around. So down this side, I screw that around up and down. Halfway in, okay. I'll leave that to set. Which can take a fair bit of time. This is one of the other pens that I've made in the past. This is a bolt action. Shotgun shell pen, see the bolt action there. There's a nice bit of weight to it as well, so it comes in handy. I use mine for work, so mine's a bit scuffed up, but these are the ones that are available over on my website, which will be in the description below. They come in three different colours chrome, gold, and gunmetal. This one will not be up for sale, this will be one of my personal pens that I use purely because the price of the kit really. This is my first video on this channel so you'll also see other stuff such as more pens. I'll be making more pens as well, multiple different types of pens. I'll also be making uh, bracelets with power cords. Uh, I'll be doing a little bit of level work, not too much, just a little bit. Um, but mainly power cord and pens will be what you see on this channel. So if that is what you're interested in, just Comment down below what kind of styles you want to see and I'll see what I can do with them. Once the glue is dry, I'll take a knife and we'll cut away the rest of the plastic. I won't go completely fat because what I'll do, I'll finish it off with the file just to get it nice and flat. If you go too much with this knife, you can find that you dip in and you'll be seeing some of the brass, and you don't really want that. Kind of angle my knife up as I cut through. Lovely. You see what I mean? There's a couple of dips in there, but you can't really see the brass, and the file will get that out anyway. What you might notice is there's half a file. Is snapped. And we'll just file it until the plastic is flat with the brass. What I'm doing now, I'm just taking my knife again where I fold it, some of the plastic is folded over. I'm just gradually going across it just to scrape off the folds. Now it is time to press it all together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start at the end. I don't have a pen press, what I have is a uh, clamp. And then what I'll do, I'll line up the ends. It's going to be slightly thinner 
than normal. That is fine for me. Get it set up into your clamp and just press it. That end the clamp there. Now we get this end. in the Parker pin insert, take that off, slide in your spring and place the tip back on. There you have it, a bolt action steampunk pen with a 410 shotgun shell in the middle. That is the shotgun shell steampunk pen. I like how that has turned out. Nice and sturdy and that will come in handy for uh, for my work. Um, if you enjoyed that video, if you want to see more from me, just subscribe and like the video uh, and also check out my Instagram and my website. Links in the uh, description below. Um, there will be more pens coming soon, uh, which I'll be uploading and showing you how to make as well different style pens, um, multiple different style pens really, paracord and a little bit of leather as well. If you want to see all that make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one.